welcome. Okay. Today we're going to chat through intensity zones, domains, and some anchors and breakpoints. And what I want to do is try and simplify for you so you can have comfort that you're doing the right thing to get the ad adaptation you want. So 15 years ago, my coaching partner, Alan Cousins, I asked him, I said, hey, everybody sounds different. Can you, can you make me a Rosetta Stone so that I can, on one piece of paper, I can figure out what everybody's talking about. And this is this table. If you follow me on Twitter, it's linked up at the top of the training zone thread. And we called it speaking the same language. And at the time, these were all the main ways that we could break down intensity and people were using to set zones. Respiratory exchange ratio, fuel mix, lactate, heart rate, relative perceived exertion, race distance, Joe Friel zones, Jack Daniel zones, Phil Moffatone zones, Arthur Lydiard zones, Coggin zones based on threshold power, all these different things trying to capture the same thing, what's going on in your body. And for our team, we made it simple. And we used what John Hellemans had taught me, which is basically a five gear transmission. Easy, steady, moderate, hard, very hard. My buddy Justin Dare, he doesn't really like hard. He thinks it impairs our economy. So maybe call it fast. So moderately fast, fast, and very fast. However, it's, we got five fingers, there's five zones. Um, and that's how we used to deal with it. And then particularly within the, the very fast zone, which is sometimes called your VO2 zone back then, um, there's degrees of how fast. So there's a lot of subtleties with regard to fast. So if you look down that Friel column and you're thinking about the five zone model, zone one's easy, zone two's steady, Zone three, moderately hard. Zone four, threshold, hard, hard tempo. And then very hard was like 5A, 5B, 5C. Those are the degrees of fast, and that's how Joe dealt with it. That's actually kind of a seven zone system, but it's called a five zone system. So yet another way. Now, since then, there's still, I mean, they're still adding columns. Um, every time somebody comes up with a good idea, they tend to develop their own system. But something that's actually pretty helpful is this. And what this is, is the domain system. And I found this very helpful. And this is something that's relatively new in terms of when I was taking my break to raise a family, um, this came in. And I think this helps simplify things. So let's talk a little bit about that. Green zone moderate. It's zone one and zone two. And the top of the green zone is set by lactate threshold. And lactate threshold, you ask different people, you get different answers. But the best answer I've come across is in Phil Skiba's book, uh, Scientific Training for Endurance Athletes. Got it on my desk here. Page 20. It's just one millimole above baseline lactate. So once your lactate's gone up by a millimole, you're starting to transition into the heavy domain. And I think it's important to remember that these aren't hard lines, they're all transition zones. And aerobic threshold, which, which is the last point where you're still at baseline lactate, is gonna be sitting inside this moderate domain. So when I talk about anchoring your endurance training at aerobic threshold here, that's the border between zone one and zone two, what I'm really trying to do is anchor you into, and me, in that moderate domain here. And then above that is the heavy domain. And inside the heavy domain is zone three and zone four and if we use this concept of threshold minus, and we set this zone here, which is the, the, 
the transition between zone three and zone four, but if we set it at 2.5 to 3.0 millimoles, we're gonna be somewhere between one and one and a half millimoles, one to two, depending on the athlete, above baseline. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna anchor us inside the heavy domain. And we're not gonna start going into the severe domain where fatigue is inevitable and highly predictable, where recovery is gonna be greatly extended for, for little benefit. And so when we're doing the intensive aerobic sessions that are targeting our intermediate fibers, we're gonna be doing that in the heavy domain. Then above so here, and then when we're going above this threshold, so the heavy domain here is the orange and the red, moderately hard and hard. The severe domain is this dark red transition zone, and then we're going into these higher zones as well. And then they have above the severe zone is the extreme domain. And what happens here, that's if you're doing an all out maximal effort, two minutes or less, the effort is so intense that you're not going to be able to achieve VO2 max. So you're going to load up before you can actually get to your maximum rate of oxygen uptake.